See, this is front. You still have this. Can you see your whole body goes forward? Yes, I can. Yeah. It's difficult, but you can do one move at a time. And when you link them together, then you are forced to make mistakes. So here. And then the next move, you look at where my hand is. You go like this. Can you see it goes backward? Yes. You stay here. It stays here. Okay. And now watch my hand again. Can you see it's still there? So do you see that your this hand in single whip, this hand here, never moved. If it moves a little bit, it moves forward. Don't come back. So this is the front hand. Everything else can be compromised except here. So you start doing this again. So watch. You can actually go like this. It doesn't matter. Then you can go like this. It doesn't matter. You can move, your, move everything else. Remember, every time I teach you something, so I want everybody to listen to this. Every time I teach you something, that something is a, called a key point. So in Tai Chi, in Taoism, there is a theory, a principle. It's called yin. When we do things, there is one thing that cannot deviate, cannot be compromised. Everything else can be compromised. So, so it's the same as Einstein's universal principle of whatever. Like that has to be a very big principle on top that cannot be compromised. Everything else, if there is a conflict, you have to judge, adjust everything else to suit. It has to go under that umbrella. So this key point is that your front hand cannot move. So it's not a big deal if you change the move. You change other body parts, and you, you make up a new move. It is OK, as long as this principle is followed. So only by doing this, you actually can reform your body. Otherwise, your body is always doing the same. So when I push you, we are always doing this. Can you see this here? When I push you, I actually never do anything. I just go here and here. This is how I push. And, and it doesn't matter how many times I explain this. Most people cannot hear me because it just uh, does not make sense to you. Let's say we are here. When we are here, can you see the movements are very even? When you are even, you have no advantage and you have no disadvantage. You only have the advantage of you feeling this is quite balanced. Over your opponent, you have no advantage. So what you do is, at the beginning, you do this. Your center is here. And this creates a very huge disadvantage to you because it's very hard for the rear part to hold on to this heavy weight. So you quickly, quickly move, move, shift your pivot to here. Now when you move, you have tremendous power. So your activity is actually this here. Our problem is, our normal human activity is this, and is this, and is this. Now can you understand? So don't move this, only move the pivot, it's called the internal movement. Move this, it's called the external movement. So for the people who have done martial art, you see these type of movements are called external martial art. This kind of movement is called the internal martial art. And in internal martial art, on the outside, you are just like an old man standing there. You are not doing much. But the activity is no less. It's just you cannot see. This is the dot. You are fighting with your opponent here. If you actually can go over here, he already lost. You are behind him. And this move I just showed it. Who can tell me which move that is? <laughs> Jerry, you got it. Once you start to think like that, then you start to understand my instructions. So you, you go like this here. You imagine when somebody touches you and pushes you, this is what normally happens. Now this time, when you're being pushed, you go immediately here. You react with your rear foot. So when your opponent pushes you, when your rear foot goes back, he feels your hand came back. He feels you're doing this to him. But actually, this move is actually mirrored with your foot. 